Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you are all um, chilling out during the lockdown and uh, finding lots to do, hopefully doing lots of painting. Somebody asked me to um, look at stencils in Art Rage and uh, put together a video on how to create your own and uh, import them into Art Rage. So that's exactly what I've done. So someone asked me if I would uh, show you how to create your own stencils. So I thought that'd be a good idea. I don't want to do sort of generic stencils, sort of geometric shapes and things like that. I want them to be organic because that's what I'm all about. So the first thing I should say is I've done a little bit of experimenting. A good size for your canvas to start with is 600 pixels by 600 pixels square. 72 dots per inch and also if you go to the canvas settings just make sure you've got the canvas lighting disabled because if it's ticked you can see the texture on the canvas and we don't want that so let's just uh, switch that off and um, <clears throat> make sure you've got black selected and I'm working with a normal round brush so I want to create some sort of uh, grasses and when i first started testing i um i was doing single leaves and things like that and it was taking me longer to apply the stencil than than it was to paint so i came to the conclusion that uh your best painting um a bigger area with with more detail in it so you can apply the stencil really quick and i'm doing a couple of th these are this is a line of grass and i'm doing a few on this stencil because or a few lines because I, then i can sort of vary it a bit and not have the same pattern all the time so uh, that's that's what i'm doing there let's put another one here i could put some tufts there let's just have a little tuft and a, a tuft of grass there That'll do. And then what I like to do, this one's not too bad, but I go to uh, edit transform layer contents and I just s shrink it a little bit. So I've got plenty of space all the way around. And that's important because when you're applying the stencil, you don't want your brush to overlap the stencil and make a mess. So let's export this. So I go to uh, file export image file and I want it to be a PNG file which I've got decide where you want to put the files give it a name uh, I'm going to call this grass 2 I've already created a grass 1 and I didn't like it so I've uh, created this grass 2 let's save that and that's ready to import so then we go to view uh, stencils and you can see I've already created a group. I, I clicked add group and I named my group my flora and I've got uh, four stencils in there already. Let's add, add my new one by clicking import stencil. You navigate to where your stencils are. Well, obviously I've already um, imported a load. So let's import that grass too. And I'll tell you what, I'm gonna import the grass one as well the original one even though i wasn't too keen on it so you can see there i've got six uh, stencils if you want to create another one just go to edit clear your layer and paint something else and then you're ready to go so i am ready to um start painting a picture i'm going to get a background in because i don't want you to uh, i don't want to spend hours painting a background while you're anxiously waiting to see me use the stencils so i'm going to sort of do that because uh, you've seen me paint backgrounds loads of times and then we'll look at the stencils right so this is the background i've got painted in i uh, want to show you the uh, size of the painting first of all i've got it 3507 by 4959 pixels 300 dots per inch because obviously that's going to make a difference to what the um stencils look like on the canvas 
And then this is the picture that I used that inspired me to make the uh, stencils in the first place. So I'm just going to um, set that to normal, normal, normal size. Why is it not set in? Let's shrink it then. I just want it out of the way so you can see uh, my stencils. And I'm going to begin with this tree stencil. So I click it and then I've got a stencil selected. And if I hold the um, space bar down, I can move stencils around. If I hold the control key, slide the mouse left, I can shrink a stencil or make it bigger. And if I hold the alt key, I can rotate the stencil. So I've got full control there over what I do with this stencil. So um, I am going to use uh, the space bar to position this roughly where I like it. And then choose a color. So I'm going to go for a sort of a dark green. Maybe pick the color off here. Choose the oil brush, just the normal round. Painting some dark color there for that tree. And a little bit lighter down here. There we go. I'm working on the same layer. I don't know if that's a mistake. Let's um, move the stencil out of the way and have a look what it looks like. So there you go. I've got two tree trunks in there. I can um, right click on the stencil and flip it, flip it. So I've flipped that stencil and now I can use a different, to look different. I'll we'll put one in here, a little bit higher up perhaps, maybe there. So I could shrink it down and that will give us a bit of perspective. So I've got to get these uh, bluebells in. Choose a lightly. Oh, too, that's a bit too light. I, w I want the trees to be there, but sort of muted in the background. Not, not too noticeable. Oh, I don't want that one. I should do. Let's move that out of the way. Oh, if you hold Control Z, you can um, you can reposition your stencil once you've moved it. Move it out there again. Uh, I think I need to pick this color up a bit and use that. I think that might be better. Yeah, that will do. Uh, so I can right click on that now and uh, remove that stencil. And if I want, I can um, use my brush. Shrink it down a little bit and just sort of paint in those trees, add a little bit, you know, just to um, make it look less like a stencil. So that's the trees done. Let's put some um, leaves on the trees. So I've got this bush stencil, really it's bush and uh, leaves. Bit big that pattern at this point, so I'm going to shrink that down. Oops. I keep doing that, wise. Maybe to about sort of that size. Okay, and then I can move that. I think I'm going to create a new layer just feel a little bit happier and I want to 
select this color that we've already got just make it a bit lighter we need a much bigger brush because I just want to sort of get these leaves in really quick um, just move them down a bit slightly darken up the color move them up here and down here I could rotate it a little bit perhaps just just to there we go so we're getting some uh, nice leaves on there whoops Need some lighter ones, I think. Let's go with the green. Maybe this green. And rotate it again. Where shall we put them? There. Got the trees that side. Let's get some of this the other side now. Maybe just make the stencil a little bit big. Oh, I'm just going to save this. because uh, there we go I was a bit worried make it square again and just resize it a bit worried we were going to crash then push that up there get some of these docks dark leaves in Move it along a bit. And down to here. I don't think I was going to put like a lighter color on these, but I don't. Does it need it? I don't know as if it does. I can sort of put it over it and sort of painting some more color there and it sort of totally blocks in yeah I like that what do you think then guys is, is this working is it doable right I want to put a few grasses in so let's choose my um, this grass one maybe just here I'm not going to go all the way along move it down a bit I'm going to flip this as well and lighten it up a little bit
there we go then i can use my uh, brush again that's a bit big actually change the colors a little bit and just sort of get back in there painting some of these colors like that that'll do for the grass i don't want to go crazy let's try this uh, foreground grass put this over here probably rotate this one a bit like that what does it look like that make it a bit bigger Uh, too a <laughs> little bit on the bright side. There we go. Just move that out of the way. And then again, I can just sort of paint some. More stuff in there. So let's put some bluebells in. So I've got this stencil called Tiny Flowers. Just pop that over there. Did I just, yeah, did I just put a brush stroke over that? So there we go. Let's move this out of the way. And choose a nice bright blue. be like that let's have a new layer for this i'm thinking in fact yeah let's have a new layer paint some of these flowers on why am i messing about with a little brush This is going to need a bit of work. Yeah, I thought so. Just take the um, eraser. Is that the eraser? I think it is, yeah. If I thought this through, I could have um, put these on different layers, perhaps. There we go. I like it. I like it. I could put that back actually. Um, I'll shut this down because I don't need any more stencils now. Bring this one back. Make a bit darker blue. Just oh, I've got the eraser selected. Oh, two. Just add a bit of different colour. Yeah, that's it. That's cool. Do I need to put anything in the church? I don't think so. I tell you what I could do. I could bring my leaf layer back, perhaps shrink it down. Well,
rotate it a bit. Um, just move it. Move it, say, there. Nice dark colour. Yeah, and also this one, shrink that as well. Use the palette knife, maybe, just to that up a bit. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to paint that church in. I'm going to create a layer. In between all the flowers I've painted, and then I can um, paint that away. And it will just go behind the flowers. Seems to me to be a plan. Let's just zoom in a bit. Um... My brush is too big, isn't it? Go, yeah, that's a bit better. in there maybe a little bit of a paler color that's a bit grayer than that the roof of the church I, I don't is it gonna make it a bit morbid putting in the um the gravestones it probably will so I might might give that a miss. Oh, uh, oh yeah, I painted those on the uh, on the base layer. smaller I'm trying to put some um, glazing bars are the and if they really are glazing bars the these sort of stone features of the the window just add that little bit doesn't it seem back out again Let's shut all the, these are um, putting me off, all these stencils, so I'm just going to hide them all or remove them. Go, go away. Where's it gone? That's it. So, uh, there we have it. There we have a small painting. 
done using stencils. Let's get it signed. One last thing I want to do now is just create one new layer. Uh, did it do it? Yeah. Uh, one new layer. Let's put it at the top. Um, create the set the blend mode to multiply because I just feel that it's a little bit flat it just needs some shadows like we've got in the um, photograph putting in so I've choosing a sort of a, a warm blue I've got my oil brush I could use thick oil paint actually let's just try that and then I can use a palette knife to blend it if I want and by using multiply you can see it's putting a shadow on but we can see that that uh, color underneath I suppose I could even use the uh, stencil let's just bring back that stencil Bring the uh, that one back. Oh, and uh, shrink it down a bit. Maybe make it a bit bigger, actually. Maybe too small. Yeah, that that uh, just adds a little bit. A bit there. And here, there we go. That's some shadows there. Let's bring them down here a bit. Make them a bit bigger. Yeah, that's it, I like that. And then paint these across. Flowers like that. There we go. I'm just going to take the brush down a little. Well, I'm going to use the eraser actually. I wonder if I should bring that layer top. You know what I'm going to do? We'll leave it like that and I'm going to um, shut that stencil down bring back another bring back the stencils again get the uh, ground cover one Put that there nice light color create a new layer Like that. Oh, I've got the brush paint selected. Just move that out of the way. Oh, yeah, I like it. Finished. That is really it. That's finished. Let's um, 
remove that stencil close that down there we go hope you've enjoyed this video if you have big thumbs up as always much appreciated and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i have lots of videos like this and i would love to be sharing them with you so stay safe everybody stay sane and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye Thank you.